I have a question for you. How old is your oldest SD card? The second question I have for you is, do you trust it? And if so, are you truly confident that this SD card is healthy? So if you answered yes to any of these questions, I have a way to test those SD cards and to make sure they can still capture your best work so far. Hi, my name is Evans B and I'm a commercial photographer based out of Montreal, Canada. Because in my opinion, nothing, well, nothing will make you more frustrated than booking a shoot, booking talent, having a location, setting up your lights, shooting, coming back home, and discovering your SD card is actually corrupted. This will be terrible. I mean, even for the wedding photographers out there, that if it's like your breaking case of emergency card, are you sure that these will capture the moments that you get paid to shoot? So let's dive right in. First set of good news, the software I'm about to discuss is actually free. So you don't need to pay for anything. You can use it as is with the freemium version. The link to that software is in the description below. Uh, again, this is not a sponsor post. They have no way, they didn't even know I'm making this video. I'm just sharing it with you in case you want to check out your SD card's health because I found it really useful to discard a few of them. But if you want to help me out, you can do a few things like sharing this video online to other people and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and Sharpen. And lastly, there's some affiliate links to SD cards that I truly like in the description below. So check them out if you want to learn more about the SD cards I use every single day. Also, the software we're about to use is only available for Windows. I'm pretty sure there are some Apple versions available, so you just have to make sure that you look out for them. But the one, the one I found is called Disk Genius, and let's dive right into it. While it's not a foolproof solution to make sure that your SD card won't fail eventually, it at least gives you a good metric to measure that if it's going to survive the next few weeks or months without fail. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the software. If you haven't looked, the link is in the description below. So let's look out for this genius again, only for Windows. Second step is to simply connect your card here. I'm using uh, this connector uh, basically uh, to connect my SD card to my computer via USB-C. So once you open the program, you'll see all the available disks that you have. As you can see from the computer, I have several. The trick is to look for the SD card to represent your situation. In my case, this is called a removable disk because it is. Once you find your disk, it's very simple. The only thing you have to do is to right click on your disk name and click on verify and repair sectors. All right, so you're in there. So the only thing you have to do basically is to start verify and that's going to scan your entire disk. Again, it's a bit of a long process because it's going sector by sector and the larger the card, of course, the longer it's going to take. But start your process, grab a coffee, write some emails and get back to it. So as you can see, uh, this batch has finished. So I read of this, everything looks good here. Excellent, I'm not sure what the metrics is. I can maybe speak to about it more if you want to, but for the sake of the video, we'll keep it short and skip that entirely. But overall, this card is good. I wasn't too worried about this specific card because it's actually pretty recent. It's only two years old. And I think it will survive because I bought a high quality one, again, pro grade. Also, let's compare it to a SD card that I bought years ago when I first started photography. So I'm going to have a more recent one, then I'm going to have a old-ish one, and then I'm going to have a really, really old one. This is just to give you a little, little feedback on how the software reacts when it's giving three different grades of SD cards. All right, so the SD card, the 16 one, has taken about 13 minutes to get through. That was pretty quick. Again, the lesser the card size, the quicker it's gonna go, of course. Now that we've seen the, that, the, actually the card is actually still pretty good, which is surprising. Uh, I didn't think it would work, but it did. So let's test out now the really small two gigabyte card and see how it behaves. All right, so we saw the results of the old SD card. Again, sectors are really, really bad, and I wouldn't use any of that for any reasons whatsoever, uh, unless it's a toy camera and then you give it to your kid, then what happens to the photos? Nobody cares. Uh, again, this is really interesting to see the difference between a very fresh card, a card that's in the middle, and then a card that's way too old. Again, really interesting to see what's happening and how the software can actually read it. So this genius, in my opinion, is a very smart way to figure out which card should be kept in your bag and which should be discarded forever. My suggestion is to try them all, try all your cards. It takes a bit of a while, but at least it gives you insurance that this card won't fail you in the future and you're kind of safer to use whatever you have versus something that could really hurt yourself in the future. I know there are also some other software such as ProGrade that has the same software, but you have to have the reader from ProGrade and you also have to have a ProGrade S card, SD card. 
Although I like their products, I don't really like the fact that it's proprietary to their own product, but to each their own. That was it for me, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy shooting.